Hello, secular numinist. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Invincible numinist. Um, Hannibal Bark has made another video. I saw the title on morality. I decided not to watch it before making this video because I figured it would be more risky in an honest sense. Now, um, thanks for the clarification. And I, I, um, well, I reciprocate acknowledgement of, of your point. I understand that it can be trivializing to simply uh, say, well, you have a moral system, but moral systems aren't absolute. And, and also, as a relativist, since moral systems are not absolute, you don't expect them to be absolute. It's not really an argument against the moral system. In other words, you have to judge based on the criteria. But I think in this case, it's still true. I still disagree with you. It's not a good criticism. Um, overall because you have to look at the actual case and it might be my own bias but really two things first of all I think that antinatalism comes down to a matter of pro-choice right in other words antinatalist arguments are compelling for an individual oh the world is bad and we shouldn't bring a child into it but it's just not something that can be prescriptive so you know it, it for so the idea that there is no prescriptive morality is directly to the point, right? So if somebody said, for example, in their political system, hey, uh, you know, there's always one right way and one best of everything. So there's one best hair color, and that's the right hair color, and we should make people have that hair color. And, you know, an argument that there was no such truly prescriptive best there could be subjective as well that would be a counter argument to that particular system so while it's a bad uh, blanket argument or a trivialization some positions do actually contradict this idea and I think if you see the question of having children issues of natalism is sort of fundamentally personal um, than you know it pertains but even more so I, th I think and maybe um, you know I'm a relativist not a nihilist very big distinction to me but um, I don't know what he's going to say but I thought in that particular uh, argument that the point was that it, in anthropological issues they're trying to say things like uh, Humans have always been bad. They're, you know, and animal nature's always been bad. It's always been cannibalistic. They're imposing a moral judgment into this natural order where we should just be collecting facts, you know. And so it, it's a rejection. You can't say this is a bad thing that one animal eats another in the millions of history excuse me, the millions of years of history, you know, you could say right now, hey, we should protect all wildlife and stop all predation. I mean, I don't advocate that. But you could in the current time say, hey, we should put all animals in preserves where all the carnivores are fed soy. You know, I mean, I don't advocate that, but I'm saying there's a legitimacy to saying in the here and now, we should do this and that and the other, you know. Like, for example, I would believe that if you had a pestilence in a wild population of of animals of deer that you might cure them with vaccinations you know with weeding out the population you know selective hunting culling even you know whatever you could do that in the here and now but you can't really pass judgment that nature has worked that way so you can't exclude a morality again from another from another particular sphere in this case scientific argument you, you know morality of canines does not come into a discussion of if canines represent aggressiveness in our species for example but anyway interesting I'm not saying I require a clarification I appreciate the clarification and I am a, you know I just subscribed to you I think I've been subscribed to you before sometimes YouTube drops me but I've definitely never really been subscribed to you I have seen your videos over time I wanted to say I think years right I um, but at least some time but I'm not really familiar enough to know where you might have been coming with it so I did get even though I'm I've seen your videos before it might be a little out of context um, seeing your uh, this particular one to Hannibal Barkett so I do appreciate the clarification but I still think that um, it, it while it's a 
it's a good point often a good point I think in this case uh, on these grounds you know his it, it, it's not moral nihilism really and it is a pertinent argument it's not just a knee-jerk well morals don't matter anyway it, it really is that this is choice and that when discussing things like the evolution of the ape skull It's not something that is a moral question. Okay, cheers. And I'm not saying you would disagree with any of these. I'm just further clarifying too. And uh, on so that the remnant of a difference is that I yeah I'm I'm, I'm defending Hannibal's use of uh, a moral relativistic point in this context. I think it's on point and not just uh, like the trivial invocation, which which does happen. Okay, cheers.